Yes! What is up guys, welcome to the video. Today we've got another install video and it's something that's actually gonna benefit the performance of the EP3 as well. But first things first, just wanna say thank you all for the support recently on the videos, it's been amazing. Everyone's been really good in the comments and really nice, so yeah. I just wanna say a big thank you for all the support, all the comments and everyone that's liking the videos. It does mean a lot and it does go a long way, so yeah. Anyway, let's jump into the video. We've got a Jap Speed 4 to 1 manifold. I picked this beauty up last night Obviously, like I said, this is a 4 to 1 Jap Speed manifold for the EP3 now. The best thing about this is, so obviously mine hasn't got a 4 to 1 on at the minute, and my friend Adam, who we're going to see in a minute, who's going to help me install this, has. Now, we did a little pull on the motorway, and his car actually top end goes past mine. So these do generally add some power to the EP3s. How much, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe someone can let me know down in the comments, but either way, We've got a 4 to 1 manifold, we're getting that one step closer to being ready for mapping. Obviously with the EP3s, ready for mapping is the inlet, exhaust, decap, as in 4 to 1. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything else, inlet, 4 to 1, exhaust, intake. The bits that you need before mapping because obviously injectors as well but I'll get them on the day but we're getting that one step closer to being able to map the EP3 now. I've been in a mapped EP3 and they're absolutely ruthless, they completely change the car and it's weird because it doesn't even feel like it. it. It kind of feels like they've got a small turbo connected to them, VTEC comes in really early and it just pulls and pulls and pulls. But Either way, that's the plan for today. We're going to head to Adams now. I need to get some exhaust paste as well. Head to Adams and get this Jap Speed 4 to 1 installed. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to what it sounds like. I'm just hoping that it doesn't throw an engine light up. But if it does, I could get it mapped out anyway. It's got the um, holes for the Lambda sensors, so we shouldn't come into any problems. The only problems we'll come into is taking my standard one off. So we're going to give it a go. The worst that can happen is we break a bolt and we go out and buy one. So, so we're gonna head to Adams, install this, and then we're gonna take the car for a drive and see if there's actually any difference. A big thank you to Iron Hill for this. This is gonna come in really handy today. So we're down at Adams. We're just gonna quickly nip to the store and get some exhaust paste before we do anything because that'll come in handy. But this is Adams EP3, if you don't remember it from, uh, yeah, you can't drive on three sisters, can you, pal? Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's had a new engine now and it's this is the one that I was on about at the start of the video because he's got the four to one this is actually quite a bit quicker than mine to be fair it does it does generally just pull even when he had the full interior in and all his shit in the back I had nothing this one still pulled so I'm hoping this four to one does so we've got some exhaust paste wherever I put that there it shouldn't be too big of a job but I'm not gonna jinx myself we've got my jack and we've got Einstein on the job for when the bolts are being stubborn. All right, let's get the car jacked up. The good thing is the other week we actually swapped this over from the standard cat to a uh, to a sports cat. So the Lambda sensors shouldn't be difficult at all to get off, so that's good. Um, the only thing that's never been off is the actual manifold, so we'll just see how that goes. How many bolts is it? It's four, isn't it? Yeah. Four bolts, so, oh no, five. Five bolts, fingers crossed they come off okay, but I think we should be good, it shouldn't be too hard. Also while I'm here, I wanna give a quick little shout out to MJC Motorsport for sending me out this little washer kit for the um, for the grill. Looks really good and like like you guys know, I'm, ch I'm gonna start changing bit by bit all this in the engine bay from red to gold to obviously try and match the wheels. No, they're not the exact same colour, but this is going gold. Um, I'm going to get these in black. They're going black, so it'll be like a black and gold kind of theme. Black, grey and gold kind of theme. Uh, and then I've ordered something as well for the back of the car, which should arrive tomorrow. Uh, I'll do a video on them as well because they're a really nice bit of kit. But, yeah, that's kind of some of the plans just to get rid of a bit of the red. But... For now, I don't think we need to jack the other side up. I think we can get it from this side, and it's just a matter of taking the old one off and putting the new one on. Hopefully, it goes goes well. Einstein, the iron hell drill, is not scared at all. Fully confirmed, didn't it, Ad? Yeah. Fully confirmed, straight out, anti-roll bar, done and dusted. Mm -hmm. There's number two, mate. Oh, 
makes it so much easier. I just want to quickly say a massive shout out to Iron Hell, put all the links in the description. Uh, go check them out, go give them a follow on Instagram, any of the power tools or anything you want, go check them out and um, they are good stuff. All right, so under the car is pretty much done. We took the, um, the sports cat off the exhaust. Now, off the mid pipe, now I'm gonna do my best, I don't know if you can see them, but to get the bolts off the manifold and try and drop this section as one instead of taking it off from instead of taking it off from there just take the manifold straight off and then drop the whole thing that's that's what i'm going to attempt i don't know if you can see the bolts just them two down there that one there and that one there i'm going to give it a go see what happens so literally just saying how much easier a buzz gun is instead of me and adam the one in the middle we couldn't get to um the actual screw that sits here we couldn't get to because the gun couldn't get through because it was too thick if that makes sense so we literally nearly broke our fucking backs trying to get this trying to get this bolt out and then the ones next to it we've got the we've got einstein on it straight out it's 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 weird how much easier this gun makes it like watch this go on adam get it out lad so we've literally got all the bolts out of the manifold the the sports cats off there's just one bolt in this corner right next to the washer fluid reservoir thing and the solenoid that's holding everything on and it's been annoying but i'm going to go ahead and switch the lambda sensors over from the from the sports cat to the four to one so one of the bolts is just not coming off whatsoever it's, it's just being stubborn and we need a breaker bar we don't know anyone around here with one and the closest person that we know is me so we're going to go in zim zimmer to go get the breaker bar Adam's friend came in clutch with a breaker bar. Right, let's do it. Let's just do it. Yeah! Woo! Yes! Woo! -hoo! Don't fuck for that. That was so much harder than it needed to be, wasn't it? <laughs> Woo! What we got here? Oh, 15 minute clip to get this bolt off with a breaker bar. So there's five bolts holding the manifold in. Four of them came off a joy, and me and Adam were sat here thinking, actually, this is going to be fun to do. This is actually going to be a fun job. Then we get to this bolt, and it's just not moving whatsoever, and that's what we've been stuck on for the past like three hours. It's been such a piss take. We've got it off finally. Thank God for that breaker bar. The awkward thing was we had an extension, but that was too long, and the socket was too short. We needed like a longer socket, but. We had a longer socket, but we didn't have a step up because it was a three quarter drive. So it was it was a bit confusing, but is it off? Is it off? No, he's not coming off. Shut up. Right, while I'm down here, I thought I'd just mention for any uh, kids in school watching this, just do drugs. It's a lot easier than cars. <laughs> no, don't, but this is just annoying now. Mm -hmm. Ugh, it's off. It's off and it's out, and that bitch is going in. Who's this now? Oh, it's the boys. Current situation. I'm trying to hold it in place while Adam screws the bolts on. How's it looking, Adam? How's it looking? I'm not telling you. He's not telling me. I don't know if to take that as good or bad. I'm not telling you, yeah, that's why. Oh, do you not know yourself? Uh, the only thing I do think is that it is going to throw an engine management light up which isn't a huge issue, issue because either I'll get it took off, uh, I'll get it cleared or I'll um, get it mapped out once we get mapped. Do you want me to jump out? What's it looking like Shag? Shit. It's on isn't it? Yeah just lower it down. Oh thank god for that. What are you doing, Jesse? I'm taking the old off again. Wow, what have you done? Because I forgot to put the roll bar on. What a joke, mate. Doing it all over again. Just doing it again? Oh, well, it's experience, isn't it? Jesse, Jesse's forgot to put the anti roll bar on proper. Yep. Nothing ever goes right. So it's it's pretty much all on. The only thing was the anti-roll bar wasn't lining up first. 
Uh, and now we've just got to put the mid pipe onto the back box. And no, mid pipe onto the four to one, and then we're done. Then we're going to take it for a hoon because I'm absolutely knackered. What's the time now, boys? Anyone got time on him? We started this at 12. Uh, uh, five past eight. Five past eight. Mate, no wonder I don't do stuff on my own car when it turns out like this. That's it. That's it. I'm just going to put some paste on to be sure. And then we're going to start the car up. But I'm absolutely f I'm absolutely knackered, aren't you? I'm knackered. So in a perfect world, there'd be no leaks. There'd be no engine light. And it'll sound mint. I guarantee none of them happen. Sticky starter motor. No engine light. Mate, that's, la that's a lot louder now. So far so good, I've left it running. We've still not got an engine light, but I haven't actually gone for a drive yet. I think we're gonna quickly go for a drive, um, get a few flybys. Oh, it smells of decat in here, boys. Get some, uh, get a couple of flyby shots and then wrap the video up. We've got some videos coming as well on the logo. I've ordered, um, not, a, not a big major mod, but just a quick little, quick little simple mod for the logo. Um, so that'll be coming this weekend. I've got to do a quick oil change. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do an oil change video for the Patreons. But for now, I'm just going to quickly go out and get some flyby shots. Okay. So when you put yours on, I noticed VTEC came in a lot harsher. Yeah. I'm hoping that's how mine. Well, it will, won't it? Let's be honest. No. <laughs> quickly take it up and down so I can hear what it sounds like but I'm well happy with this well happy with this <laughs> Still no engine light on or anything like that, which I'm very, very happy about because it's known that if you decat a car, uh, sometimes it does throw an engine management light on, but it hasn't, so I'm very, very happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you did enjoy. I know it was one of them videos that I only picked the camera up every now and then, but we were just trying to get this done. It did take a little bit longer than we thought, but then we just we started the job really like all the bolts came off and then we got to that one bolt that was stuck and it just demotivates you so much and it ended up delaying us like three hours and it just really pisses you off but we got it done in the end anyway i hope you did enjoy the video please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one